I'm so totally always changing things around this farm. And these octagons, I built two of them. There was a little small tool shed here and everybody thought, oh, aren't those cute? Aren't they great? And they were really handy. And I got this idea that I wanted a pair of more, I don't know, Jeffersonian kind of buildings that we could actually do like dining parties. I wanted something where um, we could come out here and maybe have a little dinner for 12 people or when we have events we could set these up as places for drinks like martinis or something like that so we call them martini houses. But come on in, they're, they're square, they're octagons and they're really tall on the inside. They're like 16 feet and they're very rustic on the inside and uh, you can see you have this entry door that comes in here and uh, we used um, recycled windows from a couple of houses that were pu pulled down. And um, the art in this room are really some uh, pear trees that died here on the farm. And so they're corpses of pear trees. You can see them up here on the wall. And then this is a really cool chandelier. I found this old pulley in a junk store. And um, I just took some rope from a home improvement center and see so you can raise and lower the chandelier at will. And uh, I've got places to hold candles all along here, so this works out really, really well. And then if you open up these double doors out here, it opens up the view, and you look out here into this apple orchard. And right now, because it's really winter, uh, you're just seeing some daffodils. In the spring, this is full of daffodils. So I want to put a little balcony here eventually so people don't ah, fall out. And, um, they can, where you can just sit in here and enjoy this beautiful view. And right now, the river below, you get nice uh, views of it. When the daffodils bloom, the trees really haven't started leafing out yet. And so you can look through the trees and see the river and you have all the daffodils in the foreground. Now the buildings that were here, uh, we recycled those. We moved them up into the stone fruit orchard where we have um, apricots, nectarines, uh, plums and peaches, as well as blueberries and those are, are like working buildings now up there and that's where we have our beehives and that's where we're going to keep uh, all the bee supplies in that orchard up there near the vegetable garden. So come around here to the back, I want to show you how this thing is constructed and some of the design details. Um, on a trip to Mount Vernon I'd noticed how George Washington had, had done these wood blocks to make it look like stone. So I did this brown foundation with these uh, wood blocks and uh, they're wood screwed into the base here. So it makes this wooden structure look like it has a more solid foundation. I didn't want to paint the thing white all the way down. So it kind of lines up with the stone wall on either side. Then you have the door in the center and a transom above it to sort of get plenty of light in there. And I wanted those um, triple hung windows again to flood light into the rooms. And what is interesting is the planking is just some cypress that came from a local mill and we did uh, the cypress boarding all the way up and tried to use as much materials as we had here from scrap. You know, we have lots of different kinds of construction projects going on. You, we save everything and so all the scrap gets sort of put into these, these places. So these blocks, which are treated blocks, which will last, I think they have a 40-year warranty, are mounted on treated plywood, which has the same sort of warranty on it. So, um, you know, it should last for a long time. I wanted to make sure that the views from the orchard looking back up, that these buildings were as compelling or even more compelling from the view looking back this direction. Now, if you look down there, just on the other side of this terrace wall, you'll see an identical version of this one, so we have a pair of them. Hey, if you want to see these in person, come visit us at the farm and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.